This restaurant is jam-packed. I know. I had to elbow my way through the crowd just to get to the buffet table for some munchies. And the people's voices are way too loud. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What did you say? I said, the people's voices are way too loud. Hey, did you see that guy in the blue suit? He seems to be familiar. Oh, yeah, he's the captain of the football team. What's his name? Ian Ford. Sorry you're bored, but I was asking you the name of that guy. No, I said his name is Ian Ford. Oh, sorry. The people's voices are ridiculously loud. So, what's he like? He's okay. The only thing he's interested in is sports. I find him a bit boring. Pardon? You found him snoring? Oh, forget it. This is crazy. Trying to talk over this noise is too difficult. Yeah, I can't deal with it anymore. Do you want to leave? What do you want to tell Steve? No, I said let's leave. We can get a bite at the diner on the corner. Yeah, let's go. Tina. You know one of the things that I find most difficult about acquiring a new language? I feel like sometimes I use the wrong word. Then I end up expressing something different than what I mean to say. Badria. I know what you mean. Just last week, my English teacher asked me what I was going to do on the weekend. I said, I'm preparing dinner for several goats tonight. My teacher's eyes widened, and I could tell she was trying to hold back a laugh. <laughs> then I realized that I had said goats instead of guests. Paula. Oh, We've all had that kind of thing happen. Last year, I was studying abroad. During the summer, my mother came out to visit for a few weeks. I was telling a classmate about meeting my mother at the airport, and I said, my mother gave me a big egg. My classmate looked surprised, and she said, is that a traditional gift in your country? That's when I realized that I had said egg instead of hug. Tina. Sometimes it's not a matter of using the wrong word. Sometimes the word can be right, but the way it's used can be wrong. One time I told a friend, while I was walking to your house, a big shower suddenly fell on me. My friend said, ouch, that must have hurt. I thought about it for a moment and realized my mistake. Of course, I had meant to say, I got caught in a sudden shower. Amira. Sometimes, even a simple thing, like spelling something wrong, can lead to a disaster. One time, a friend tried a piece of cake I had baked. She loved it, and even though she had never baked anything before, she asked me for the recipe. The following week, she told me she had baked the cake, and it was terrible. I looked at the recipe I'd given her and realized that I had written, add two cups of flour. But instead of spelling flower, F-L-O-U-R, I had spelled it 
L-O-W-E-R. And she had actually added flowers. One, A, you know one of the things that I find most difficult about learning English? B, you know one of the things that I find most difficult about learning English? Two, A, I know what you mean. B, I know what you mean. Three, A, we've all had that kind of thing happen. B, we've all had that kind of thing happen. Four, A, is that a traditional gift in your country? B, is that a traditional gift in your country?